Hello students, today we are going to discuss about shoot system in this module. In the previous module, we studied about root system. So now, Gaurav will tell me, Gaurav, tell me one function of our roots. They help in absorption of mineral and water from the soil. Yes, you are right. Roots help in absorption of water and minerals from the ground. There is one another function that is roots help in holding the ground firmly. Now what will happen? It is providing support to the plant and this is the reason that plants and trees they stand erect. So there are two main reasons. You know what? There are some modifications also in our root system. Now what do I mean by modification? Let me give you an example. Uh, there used to be a cartoon in our cartoon network. It was named as Pokemon. Now what was there? There was a Pikachu and when the Pikachu was modified, it became Raichu. Now you know Raichu had more parts than Pikachu because it was modified version of Pikachu. In the same way, we have some roots which have modified versions. They have special features. Now, what are these special features? First, some roots store food. For example, your beetroot, your turnip, your radish. You eat them and they are roots. Another modification, you know, some roots are known as prop roots. Now, what are prop roots? You must have seen banyan tree. In that tree, roots do not arise from the base of the stem. They arise from the branches of the tree. You can see in the picture also, we have a banyan tree. And in that banyan tree, roots are arising from the branches of the tree. And this is for the support to the plant. See, banyan tree is a huge tree and it needs a lot of support to stand erect. And prop roots provide that support to the trees. Now, we have discussed about roots. Now, we'll start with our shoot system. What do I mean by shoot system? See, our plant is divided into two parts, root system and shoot system. The upper part, as you can see on the screen also, that the part above the ground is known as your shoot system. It contains your stem, your leaves, your fruits, your flowers, your branches. And the system, the part below the ground, such system is known as root system. And now we are going to talk about shoot system. So let us talk about stem first. We have stem. The function of stem is what? I'll tell you. I have told you and Gaurav has also told me that roots absorb water and minerals from the ground. But after absorption, how those water and minerals will be transported to various parts of the plant? This is a question to think. Because of this stem, stem behaves as a pipe. You know, there are pipeline connections at your home and through that pipe only water is transported. In the same way, that stem, that stem conducts water and minerals from the roots and we have branches also. Through those branches, the water goes to your leaves, your fruits, your flower and other parts of the plant. So this is the first and main function of stem. So now we'll talk about another function of stem. You know, some stems store food. For example, your ginger, your potato, you eat them, but they are stems. So this was the second function of stem. You know, I have told you about creepers and climbers. Their stems are very weak. Even they are not able to stand erect because the stems are very weak. So in some plants such as your grape vine and pea plants, they have some tendrils. Tendrils are thread-like structures. They come out 
from the stem and that thread like structure will coil on the stem of another plant and what will happen? Now the stem of the plant which was weak, which was not able to stand upright will get the support of that plant. Let us discuss about the structure of leaf. See, this is a leaf in front of me. This is a leaf. It is of green color. The surface of leaf is known as lamina. And you can see this. This is known as stalk and this is also known as petiole. What is this in the center? This is known as mid rib this line this line in the center this is known as mid rib and you can see some other lines are arising from this mid rib only these are known as veins so this is the structure of a leaf what is the function of veins you know you must have heard that in our body also we have veins what they do the veins transports your blood to different parts of your body. In the same way, when water and minerals are conducted or when the food is prepared, then through these veins, they are transported to other parts of the leaves. So this was the structure of leaf. Now let us see this leaf. You can see that veins are lateral. This pattern of veins, this is known as reticulate venation. And in another kind of leaf, as you can see that in this kind of leaf, the veins are parallel to each other and this is known as parallel venation. Reticulate venation can be seen in your neem tree, in your mango tree and parallel venation leaves can be found in your grasses. Asmita, Tell me one function of leaf. Helps in making food. Yes. Very good Asmita. Asmita has told me that leaves help in making food. Actually leaves make food for the plant. You know that plants are living organisms. We are also living organisms. But we eat food. We need food. So it means that plants should also have food. They also take food, but have you ever seen a plant going to the market, buying those vegetables, fruits, cooking it and then having it? I have never seen it. Then what is the magic behind it? There is no magic. The reason is leaves. Leaves perform photosynthesis. Leaves are known as kitchen of the plants. Leaves are known as food factory of the plants. Because leaves prepare food with the process of photosynthesis. Let us discuss this. Photosynthesis, how to define it? The process of making food by the leaves of plant in presence of sunlight using chlorophyll, carbon dioxide and water. So these are the ingredients used by a leaf to make food. Now from where do they get chlorophyll? Chlorophyll are the green colored pigments present on the leaves. Carbon dioxide is present in air. Water they get from the ground and sun is for everywhere. Now see what happens. The carbon dioxide and water react with each other in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and they make glucose. Glucose is basically the food and the oxygen is the waste product for them. Next function, transpiration. Transpiration is basically the loss of water. You know, on the surface of leaf, we have small tiny openings, small tiny pores, stomatas. So stomatas are responsible for the exchange of gases and transpiration. We all sweat. In the same way, we can relate it to that thing to make the concept easier. Now, some leaves are also modified. We saw modifications in roots, in stems. Now, we'll talk about modifications in leaves. First modification, 
when you go to a desert we see that there are so many cactus the reason is in deserts we have scarcity of water and we know that from the leaf loss of water happens so now see in cactus we have spines now these spines are basically modified leaves the leaves are modified into spines now what is the reason see suppose this is a surface this is a surface it is a plain surface surface area is very large surface area is more and this is again a surface it's like this now water has to evaporate from both the surfaces then from which surface loss of water will be more rahul please tell me from the first surface yes from this surface loss of water will be more because the area is so much and here the area is very less so this is the reason that in deserts the leaves are modified into spines to prevent loss of water now let us move to the next function there are some plants who eat insects for example your pitcher plant now the question is why do they eat insects see we need minerals we need nitrogen phosphorus sulfur so many minerals are needed by our body in the same way plants also need minerals but there are some places which are deficient in nitrogen plants are not able to have enough nitrogen so what they'll do they eat insects and those insects provide nitrogen to such plants and this is the reason that leaves are modified like this as you can see on the screen this is the shape of a pitcher plant it is like a cup and whenever an insect sits on the cup then the lid it closes down so the insect is trapped down in the leaf only i hope that this module is clear to you guys so we'll see you in the next module thank you in this module you have learned functions of modified roots functions of stem and parts and functions of a leaf to watch the next video please answer the following questions question number 1 leaves in cactus help in option a protection option b photosynthesis option c checking transpiration option d both option a and c question number 2 insectivorous plants like pitcher plant grow in soils deficient in option a water option b nitrogen option c clay option d humus question number 3 stomata help in option a transpiration option b exchange of gases option c transportation of water option d both a and b